Okay. So, I saw the movie Wonder Woman recently with my wonderful little woman. And I got to tell you, I really thought it was pretty darn good. Overall, in the superhero genre, if you keep in score, and I usually keep score, I would rank it pretty high. I would say it was about the fourth or fifth best of the entire superhero genre. So, I really liked it. I thought it was a pretty solid, pretty good movie. Now, just to break it down for you so we are clear, my wife and I generally like to see a lot of these. I, I love, I'm a fan of the big superhero movies, and I like to go see them in the theater because it's really fun. Uh, my wife, wait, once upon a time, did a couple of small roles here and there in some movies, so she got a SAG card. She's technically a Screen Actors Guild woman. So we get in for free. Yeah, can't argue with that. So we generally go to see one or two of the big releases every season. Like we'll go see two or three summer movies. We'll go see two or three win movies in December. You know, maybe one in the fall. And we've seen, I've seen a lot of these superhero movies, most of them in the theaters. And I would score it like this. Number one, flat out, Captain America Civil War. Captain America Civil War, for my money, is absolutely great. It is entertaining, it's exciting, the plot is cool, and the scene in the airport where they're fighting, that's the best scene in any, mo any superhero movie altogether. It's really, really fun, it's a great action scene, great lines, Spider-Man is great, so overall, that's, that's, I would say, the best quality of the superhero film. Number two, I would say the first Iron Man, actually. The first Iron Man is a really pretty good film. The best thing about it is the back and forth between Robert Downey Jr. and... Off the top of my head, I actually forgot her name right now. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, whatever her face is. And actually, the back and forth between them is... I don't know if you, if you're a fan of movies in general, I don't know if you know old movies, but if you don't and you're a fan of movies in general, you should, because it reminds me of one of the screwball comedies from back in the old days. And these, those movies are classic. The Cary Grant movies, your Catherine Hep, Hepburn movies, um, the back and forth between Robert Downey and, I don't even remember the character's name, is, uh, it's first rate. It's really witty and fun. It reminds me of the screwball comedies. If you've never checked any out, I highly recommend them. You should check out His Girl Friday, Cary Grant flick. That's one of the best. Philadelphia Story, Bringing Up Baby. There's a bunch. Adam's Rib. Adam's Rib is a great one. Catherine Hepburn. There's a bunch of them, and I highly recommend all of them. That Iron Man reminds me of one of those. Number three, the first Avengers movie. Again, high marks all around. Great. A, a solidly good superhero movie. The only downside with that particular one, there's a lot of funny lines, a lot of cool, cool action scenes. The only downside with that particular one, you know, if we don't solve this, the world as we know it is going to end is kind of a shop-worn plot device in these superhero films. I've seen it one too many times. Oh, if we don't solve this, the world as we know it will end. Okay, I remember seeing this before, so that's my only criticism of that particular film, other than that, high marks. After that, okay, it's your, your, your call. I say either Wonder Woman or Captain America, The Winter Soldier. For my money, they are both solidly good films, and I don't know which one is better of the two. So that's how I score it, which scores Wonder Woman pretty high in terms of overall movies, like I said, four or five of the entire genre. In terms of DC movies, forget it. Easily, far and away, easily the best of the bunch. By far, nothing is even close. The only thing I will say about the, D the DC movies in defense of Suicide Squad, Batman vs. Superman obviously is absolutely terrible. Suicide Squad is technically terrible too, and yes, it's a, it's a terrible movie. It's a crappy movie. But I kind of liked it. 
I thought Harlequino, the character, is really cool, and I kind of like some of Will Smith, and I had fun with it. Yes, it's a terrible movie, but it's a terrible movie that I actually enjoyed watching. So I give it not necessarily high marks, but I cut it some slack. So that's my assessment overall. I say go check it out. You know, go check it out. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.